So I'm finally offering one-on-one Christian mentorship calls. I'm really excited. All you have to do is go to the link in my bio to set it up. Make sure that you read everything before booking. Choose a time that works best for your schedule. And I'm really excited for this, guys. I know that some of you have been asking for a while. It will be 50-minute sessions. And just enter your name, your phone number, and fill out a short client history form just so that I could gather some information about you before we meet so that I could be prepared. And just know that you must book your appointment 24 hours in advance, no same day appointments. And if you want to cancel, you must notify within 24 hours. And also just know this will not be a deliverance session call. That will not be the main focus. And this will be via Zoom. So if you have any questions, let me know. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about righteousness and falling into sin and what it truly means to be righteous. I believe that I did teach on this a few times, but I want us to really go over some scriptures to give you guys the confidence that you are truly needing. Those of you that are truly children of God that are finding yourself struggling with sin and then feeling unworthy, feeling like you may not even be saved because you're struggling with certain things and then being condemned and judged by others in the church. I really want you guys to truly understand the word and I think something really dangerous that I see happening in churches and with ministers is they are trying they're preaching and teaching things they are teaching a standard that we cannot even uphold as a believer so why don't we just start with this when you come into christ and you believe in jesus christ as your lord and savior you know in your heart that you have accepted him as your lord and you believe in god with all your heart that does not mean that throughout your journey of life that you will never ever fall into sin ever again and i believe that some churches kind of teach that once you do believe in Christ that you will never sin again but that's not even biblical and that honestly is a very dangerous thing to teach then a lot of people in the body of Christ find themselves trying to live up to a standard that is not even possible a standard that God didn't even call us to live up to So I want us to go over a scripture in Romans where the Apostle Paul was teaching about what righteousness truly means and this is so important for you to really understand in your heart and in your spirit because when you understand what righteousness is then you understand that your righteousness does not come from how many times you don't fall into sin or if you find yourself in a position where you are counting your sins you are just not doing yourself a favor at all because I know that a lot of times when you hear about righteousness being preached in church it's always about the things that you do or don't do but here in Romans 3 22 it says this righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe there is no difference between Jew and Gentile And I actually did a teaching on Romans a few months back and I definitely think that you will be set free and you will renew your mind if you go watch that video or even just reading Romans yourself. Then you will see what God has truly called us to be in this life and you will understand that you cannot live a perfect life and the fact that 
okay you are struggling with sin but you feel this conviction it speaks to the fact that the holy spirit does live inside of you the holy spirit is moving in your life you should be concerned if you are sinning but you find yourself not being convicted if you're sinning and you see that you feel no remorse or any you don't have a care for it at all and you just want to continuously do it without that conviction being in place Now, when, when we read Romans, right, we see that we receive our righteousness through our faith in Jesus Christ. So because of Jesus Christ being our mediator, we are able to receive that righteousness in the sight of God. So this is why in the scripture you will also find that if it was not for Jesus Christ, we would not be able to fully communicate with God. Jesus Christ is that mediator between us and God. If you do not acknowledge Jesus, then you will not be able to reach our Father in heaven. You have to acknowledge Jesus, believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God. So let's look at verse 21. Remember, we are in Romans chapter 3, and we read Romans 3, 22. But let's go to Romans 3, 21. It says, But now apart from the law, the righteousness of God has been made known to which the law and the prophets testify so let's also understand that if you are trying to uphold the law if you are still trying to live by the law you are also making what jesus christ did on the cross of no effect because jesus did not come for us to still live by the law and when you read romans you will also see where the apostle paul is preaching and teaching and he's going to these different places and he's basically letting them know that they are no longer under the law they did not have to sacrifice goats and lambs and do those things that they used to do but it was through their faith in jesus christ and the apostle paul even talked about circumcision and how they no longer had to do that it was circumcision of the heart that mattered and it was a hard concept for them to grasp and they were also fighting against what he was teaching because it was something that they weren't used to it wasn't something that they were taught when they were under the law of Moses but we have to remember that now in the position that we are in in the dimension that we live in where Jesus Christ has come and he has set us free from you know the penalty of sin through dying on the cross for us we no longer have to live by the law the law was there just to teach us what sin was and a lot of people now in the church they still may find themselves struggling with this today because of what's being preached to them but when you truly dive into the word you will see that your righteousness comes through your faith in Jesus Christ and let's also remember the scripture that says a righteous man may fall seven times but he gets back up again so there are you know people that are condemning and speaking against the righteous children of God the saints of God because they may have fallen and they're you know disqualifying them and speaking against them and judging them harshly because they may be struggling with certain things not recognizing that sometimes God may even be using those th those very things to bring you into the next level that he has called you to be in because we also have to remember that God when we are struggling with these things god he wants us to come to him and he wants us to be confident in him and his ability to set us free and to deliver us sometimes these sins that we are struggling with these are strongholds and there there are things that we will have to go through it's not going to just be a one two three and we're set free and we're no longer going to struggle with certain sins anymore 
but it's just about us trusting God and knowing that he will deliver us from the very thing that is trying to destroy us. So let's truly remember to submit ourselves to God and allow God to work in us. And even as we see God working in others, do not judge them harshly because you see them doing things that you no longer struggle with or things that you never even struggled with. It's so important for us to have compassion on our brothers and sisters because we have to remember that sin is like a sickness. We can decide, it, we could decide in our minds today that we will never ever sin ever again in our life, but that will just be an unrealistic expectation because of the position that we were born in, because of the position that we are in in this world that we live in. So it's truly about us always submitting to God and also understand that God does not hate you because you are struggling with sin, because you are falling short. I know that when you are feeling convicted and you have that, that yucky feeling because you find yourself struggling with things that you know are not of God, that conviction can make you think that God does not love you or that he is annoyed with you, he doesn't care about you. But we have to remember if if God hated us because of our sin, he would have never made a way for us to escape out of that. So do not be harsh with yourself. And even if other people around you are really judging you in a way that they should not be judging you, still fully trust in God. And when the time comes, the revealing of what it is that God is doing in your life will happen. And remember when you're struggling with sin it's also not a time to run away from God that's what the enemy wants you to do the enemy wants you to run away from God so that you are pulled even further away from him but God he wants you to run towards him when you find yourself struggling with you know whatever whatever the sin is so still be kind to yourself and know that in this life things are processed things happen so let's read the scripture that i just mentioned which is in proverbs 26 16 it says for a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again but the wicked shall fall by calamity so i just i also just want to pray for those of you that find yourself struggling with sin are, and I also want to pray for those of you that may not be saved, that don't feel conviction because you may have hardened your heart. Because that's another thing as well. When you harden your heart to the Spirit of God and what God is speaking and doing in your life, you can completely just ignore what He is saying to you because your, your heart, you have hardened your heart towards Him. So Father God, we come before you today in the name of your son Jesus Christ I just ask that you help those that are struggling with sins that they find difficult to stop doing father I pray that you set them free in their minds set them free in their hearts and I pray that your love your everlasting love would surround them that your covenant of peace would fill them let them be reminded of your peace and as they continue to move forward in their life lord i trust that you will bring them to the very position that you have called them to be in in jesus name we pray amen you can purchase my books via barnes and nobles or amazon links are in the description